Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. From July 4th through August 26th, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a set of all four Commander 2019 decks. Also, there is another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and today is August 26, 2019, and there is an update to the Magic the Gathering banned and restricted list. And it's not just Hogak being banned in Modern, that would have been my guess, but they did a lot more than that. Let's dig right into it. We'll begin with the standard update. Now, Wizards of the Coast did put out an article explaining what they did, but I'll give you a summary as we go through as to what their thought process was. When it comes to standard, they did say that they felt standard was in a good place. It was very healthy. Of course, rotation is about to happen very soon, but there is one change. Rampaging Ferocidon is unbanned. Okay, so this has been banned in the standard format for a while now. If you remember, a number of months ago, the standard format was not in a very good place. Energy decks were just running wild. Red decks were very powerful. During that time, they made a lot of bannings. This was one of them to try to get red decks under control. Now. A lot of time has passed, a rotation even occurred, all the other banned cards rotated out, this one did stick around, but they left it on the banned list until now. There's only a few weeks left before it does rotate out, but Wizards' logic here was simply that they didn't feel red decks were in a place that this would make them overly powerful at this point, point. and aside from that, there are some really good decks that this does put into check a little bit, Orza Vampires and Scapeshift decks. So it didn't sound like they really felt anything needed to be banned from those decks or anything like that, but unbanning an answer is the course that they took. One note on this card, though. On Magic the Gathering Arena, this will remain banned in best of one games. It will be legal in best of three, but not best of one. On to the modern update. Now, Wizards of the Coast felt like the modern format was not in a really good place right now, so not only did they ban Hogak, which we'll get to in just a second, but they made some other big changes. Let's take a look. Faithless Looting is banned. So this is a card a lot of people expected to be banned a while ago, just because it does show up in so many of the successful decks. And that's what Wizards kind of notated in their article. They said some of the more powerful decks, especially ones that really took over the format, even if it was only for a period of time, they were running this card. Hollow One, Is It Phoenix, Dredge, Hogak, both before and after the Rich from Below banning, and others. So they did feel like this card is just getting more and more powerful as more cards enter the format. And overall, it felt like they wanted to take some of the emphasis off of the graveyard in the modern format. More on that in just a second. Hogak Arisen Acropolis has been banned. Okay, probably not too shocking. I think this is the one a lot of people were expecting today. And Wizards went on to say that, yes, this card has been very powerful in the modern format. Even as recently as the modern GP last weekend in Las Vegas five Hogak decks in the top eight, and aside from that, the deck has had an incredible win percentage. Decks need to play a ton of graveyard hate just to compete, which also really narrows down diversity in the format. Wizards did go on to say that they did attempt to fix this with the Bridge from Below banning, but clearly that wasn't enough, and they did go ahead this time and ban Hogak. Stoneforge Mystic has become unbanned in Modern. Wow, okay, so... Not too surprising that they did this, because I do think the card is going to actually fit very well into Modern, not be overpowered or anything like that. However, I wasn't expecting it during one of these off-cycle banned and restricted list updates. Usually, these are the type of things that might occur during the banned and restricted list update that occurs after a new set comes out. But regardless, now Stoneforge Mystic is playable. Here's what they said, Modern power level has increased, so they felt okay on banning this card. They also said that this is a card that could lure people away from some of these graveyard-centric decks. Let's move on to the Vintage update, and Wizards did say that they felt that in Vintage there were no decks that were really getting a super high win percentage or anything like that, but they were getting feedback that there were some problems in the format. One big piece of feedback is with a lot of the newer cards that came out recently, there seems to be more opportunities for turn 1 or turn 2 wins, and they were trying to stem that a little bit. So let's see what's going on here. Card in the Great Crater has been restricted. So remember, in Vintage, typically what they do is restrict a card, which means you can only play one copy if it's restricted. Cards that are banned are things like Dexterity cards and Anti cards. Now, the reason for this one, they stated that Shops decks have been pretty powerful. Well, like I said, Shops decks aren't necessarily winning so much that it felt like it was an issue. 
But this card really did push those decks, and beyond that, there's a philosophy they have about Vintage that players should be able to play with these crazy old broken cards, your Moxes, your Soul Ring, your Black Lotus. This does shut those cards down, which I think is a big reason why Wizards took this step. Speaking of steps, Mental Misstep has been restricted as well. So this is a card that has been controversial for a while in the world of Vintage, and here's what they decided. They felt like it was time to restrict it because what was happening is a lot of people were playing these just to deal with the opponent's mental missteps, so it was starting to narrow down your deck space and diversity, so they decided to go with the restriction here. Golgari Grave Troll is now restricted in Vintage, and the reason they gave for this one was Bizarre Baghdad decks have become stronger ever since Force of Vigor came out, so they decided to go ahead and restrict this. Mystic Forge, restricted in Vintage. Is of course, that 2020 card, restricted in Vintage. That's crazy. Similar to Karn, this is a card that is really enabling these shops decks and some of these other colorless decks out there. So they did go ahead and try to balance things a little bit with this restriction. They also unrestricted a card in Vintage. Fast Bond, now unrestricted. You can play four in a deck. And this is coming from player feedback, is what they said. They also felt that so many people rely on artifacts for mana in Vintage that this wouldn't necessarily be overly powerful if you could have more copies in your deck. And it also might open up some creative space for somebody to try something new there. Now, if you're curious to know when these will go into effect, the effective date in paper is August 30th. Magic Online effective date is today after the update this afternoon. Magic Arena effective date, which only matters for Rampaging Frostedon, the change will go into effect there September 4th. The next banned and restricted list announcement will be on October 7th. Well, that's our information for today. Until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.